Uh, I have to admit, as a lifelong Star Trek fan, I was very ho-hum about the prospect of Prodigy at first. But after having watched the premiere... Why? Film, Why? Uh, oh, we'll, we'll come back to that. But having, uh, <laughs> having watched the premiere feature-length episode, I've got to say I am more excited about this than I am season four of Discovery or season two of Picard. That a boy. Now you're <laughs> talking my lingo. Good. Tell me why. Uh, I, uh, I don't know. I, I guess there's an element, there's a part of me maybe that's just still stuck in the mud a little bit, you know. I don't know. Um, but you've always had, you've always kept one foot in the convention circuit, but how does it feel to be back in Trek proper? It feels good. <laughs> or I wouldn't have accepted the offer. <laughs> I, under, I understood what it meant. Right. And I'm delighted that it should reverberate. I'm delighted that it should go on. And I'm delighted that it should go on in this manner. It's great. Would you agree that there's a trap to rely too much on nostalgia? Uh, however, based on the footage I've seen already, I think Prodigy does an excellent job of avoiding that trap. Yes, and I'm not sure uh, that nostalgia is altogether a negative. Um, Nostalgia has a, a purpose in Star Trek, and it is to stir up our deepest uh, emotions. Um, I think you're right in, in saying that in Prodigy, we're, we're avoiding that, uh, certainly so far. Uh, none of these characters on Prodigy know anything about Star Trek. <clears throat> they don't know what this hologram is doing when she beams herself in and she beams herself out. And they don't know if she's even worth listening to. They have to learn that in their own way and sometimes the hard way. So I think that we are uh, avoiding all of the perils of sentimentality right. uh, without losing um, the sort of marvelous undertones of nostalgia. Okay. Star Trek has always reflected social issues through the lens of science fiction. Yeah. What would you like to tackle with Prodigy in upcoming episodes? Oh, all of it. All <laughs> of the prime directive, I think. You know, I think probably collaboration with one another. They're all different species. They come from different, entirely different backgrounds. The arguments are unending. Do you know the differences of opinion? Uh, and I think to, to, to watch them evolve and develop into listening people, developing friendships that will... Um, not only stand them in good stead in terms of surviving this journey, but in terms of learning who they really are. Uh, Dal learning to love Gwyn. Gwyn learning to overcome her, perhaps her innate kind of anger or stubbornness. It's all going to be a wonderful um, learning curve, each one, each episode. Do you enjoy being asked nerdy questions about Voyager? Nerdy questions? Do you mind if I ask you a nerdy question about I knew that that was coming and I'm not surprised. Go for it. We learn in the episode, the uh, Omega Directive, season four, episode 21, that theoretically a type six protostar could be used to generate a wormhole. So is this an indication of what's to come with regards to uh, uh, the name USS Protostar? Not only nerdy, beautifully and wonderfully nerdy, but unanswerable due to spoilers. I see. Okay. okay. We're going to have to wait and watch. <laughs> uh, science fiction is finally back in demand, both on TV and in the theatre. Why do you think it's taken so long for Star Trek to reach this level of momentum? Well, it's not really long if you look at the history of the world, is it? It's only a few decades, and it captured the imagination of its audience almost immediately. It has it's had its moments, it's stalled. Sometimes it's fallen asleep, taken a little nap, but it's always rebounded. And now it's really hungry to jump back into the imagination, the collective imagination of the people, because the time is right. Mm -hmm. It has never been more right. We've lived through five years of real hell, very, mm -hmm. very dark. And we need to have this now. We need to look again. We need to look hope and dignity and honor and all of that square in the eye. 
and tell that tale all over again. Beautifully put. I'm being told to wrap this up. Thank you so much, Kate. I cannot thank wait you. to see the rest of season one. I'm so Oh, thank you. That's great. Take, you care. take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.